Let's have our lecture video in engineering economics with the topic capitalized cost. One of the most applications of perpetuity is in capitalized cost. The capitalized cost of any property is the sum of the first cost and the present worth of all cost of replacement, operation, and maintenance for a long time or forever. So we have here the elements for capitalized cost. We have the FC as the first cost, OM as operation and maintenance, RC as replacement cost, and SV as the salvage value. So we have three cases for capitalized cost. The first one is no replacement only. So, no replacement, only maintenance and or operation every period. So, the formula for this is CC is equal to FC plus OM over I, wherein CC is capitalized cost, FC is the first cost, and OM over I is the present worth of perpetual operation and maintenance, meaning uh, there is no specified time frame for the uh, operation and maintenance or on how many years will it be a paying for the operation and or maintenance okay let's have an example so for example number one for the case number one determine the cost of a structure that requires an initial investment of one million five hundred thousand or 1.5 million and an annual maintenance of 150,000 pesos interest is 15 percent now this is case number one because it only mentions the first cost and the annual maintenance of 150,000 in perpetuity because it did not mention for how long that annual maintenance is so if we solve this we will use the formula fc is equal to the first cost plus so we have there fc is equal to uh, cc should i say cc is equal to first cost plus the operation and maintenance over i wherein the first cost is 1.5 million or that is 1 million 500,000 plus OM operation maintenance is 150,000 pesos in perpetuity the I here being 0 0.15 therefore CC now is equal to So, capitalized cost is 2,500,000. So, that is for case number 1. Now, for case number 2, it says there, replacement only, no maintenance and or operation cost. So, this is the formula for case number 2. So, replacement only says there. So, the formula is CC or capitalized cost is equal to FC plus RC minus SV all over 1 plus I raised to N minus 1. Wherein CC is capitalized cost, FC is first cost, while this here is the present cost of perpetual replacement. A, wherein RC is the replacement cost, SV is the salvage value. So let's have the example <clears throat> under under case number two. A new engine was installed by a textile plant at a cost of three hundred thousand pesos and projected to have a useful life of 15 years. At the end of its useful life, 
it is estimated to have a salvage value of 30,000 pesos. Determine its capitalized cost if interest is 18% compounded annually. <clears throat> so, it's already says here, compounded annually. So, there's no need for conversion. So, here, in example number 2, this is case number 2 because we have here the first cost of 300,000 and then we have a salvage value of 30,000 pesos so to solve this we have cc is equal to fc plus rc minus sv all over 1 plus i raised to n minus 1. Okay? Where n is the useful period. Now, what about rc? There's no rc in the problem. Note, if rc is not specified, <coughs> use rc is equal to fc or the first cost so we have here is now equal to the first cost is 300,000 pesos plus the rc of 300,000 pesos minus 30,000 pesos all over 1 plus i of 0.18 raised to the useful life of 15 years minus 1. So cc now is equal to or capitalized cost is now equal to so we have there 324,607.17 pesos. So that is for case number two. Now let's go for case number three. For case number three, it says there, replacement, maintenance, and or operation every period. So the formula here is CC is equal to FC plus OM over I plus RC minus SV all over 1 plus I raised to N minus one where cc is capitalized cost fc is first cost while this here is the present worth of cost of perpetual operation and or maintenance and then this portion here is the uh, present worth of cost of perpetual replacement so let's solve the example for case number three So, for the third example, determine the capitalized cost of a research laboratory which requires 5 million pesos for original construction, 100,000 pesos at the cost of every year for the first 6 years, and then 120,000 pesos each year hereafter for operating expenses. And... 500,000 pesos every 5 years for replacement of equipment with interest at 12% per annum. So there's a lot of values here. So let's um, put here one by one. So we have first cost of 5 million pesos. And then it says here for the original 100,000 pesos at the cost of every year for the first six years so and then 100, 120,000 pesos each year thereafter for operating expenses take note that for the operating expenses there is two there are two situation here the cost is for the first six years, it is 100,000 pesos. 
and then after six years the cost for operation and maintenance becomes 120,000 each year because the um, the uh, um, the item is getting older then so we will have their om operating expenses is equal to 100,000 for 6 years and then 120,000 uh, year after so this portion here is perpetuity so we will be using perpetuity for 120,000 then what is 500,000 pesos for the 500,000 pesos that is the RC replacement cost in every five years so replacement cost of five years okay then we have there the interest i is equal to 12 percent okay so using the case number three we have there cc is equal to the first cost which is five million pesos plus the the operation and maintenance we will solve that later so let's put here q plus the rc so since there is no salvage value so we will put here the uh, uh, replacement cost of five hundred thousand over one plus the i of point twelve raised to how many years is mentioned five years then minus one so we will still be solving for q for the operating for operation and maintenance so for operation and maintenance So let's have the uh, cash flow here as the way we understood it so this is year zero it says there for the first five years uh, six years let's see for the first six years the cost is one hundred thousand per year so one two three four five six uh, is that uh for the first six years so meaning it will be understood as at the end of each year so we have here the value for a is equal to one hundred thousand in this whole six years here and then hereafter it says there there is 120,000 pesos each year hereafter so if we put here year 7 year 8 9 10 and so on and so forth meaning we'll put here a bigger arrow for the payment here The A here is 120,000 pesos. Okay. So let's put here an extra 11. Or let's put there an arrow. So how do we solve for the present work of this? So using the the um, um, here at this portion here, 
unity, we will be able to solve for present 1. So this will be present 1 for the 6 years. Then, for the perpetuity, so there, it came from uh, unspecified period of time. So, per, for perpetuity here, we will not put here in the year 7 because the beginning for year 7 is year 6. So, there goes. The present for the perpetuity will be in the year 6. So this will become present 2. And then, from that present 2, we will compute another present. And that is present 3. Okay. So let's solve for present 1. So, notice that Q here means P1 plus P3. So, Q is equal to P1 plus P3. Let's solve for P1 first. So, for P1, perpetuity 1, I present word 1, this portion here. That is unwitty, meaning... So that is a 1 plus i raised to n minus 1 equal over 1 plus i raised to m uh, i. And that is equal to a of uh, 100,000 multiplied with 1 plus i of 0.12. I think we are using 12%. Yeah, correct. 0.12 raised to the period payment period, uh, payment here is how many payment? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 payments minus 1. And over 1 plus 0.12. How many periods? Here are 6 periods. So, P1 now is equal to uh, four, yeah, 411,140.73 pesos. Now let's compute for the P3. Now, for P2, we will compute for P2 first before we proceed to P3. So if we look at this, it is in perpetuity. So our formula is A over I. So what this is 120,000 divided by I of 0.12. So P2 now becomes 1,000,000 So using P2 here as the future of P3, we will now use the formula uh, future is equal to present, that is the present 3 times 1 plus i raised to the period here is. So how many periods before P2 reaches P3? So that is 6. 6 years. So this N. So we have here the future, its future which is P2 is 1 million oops, 1 million pesos is equal to P3 times 1 plus 0.12 raised to 6 P3 now is equal to Five hundred six thousand 
631.12. Therefore, Q, Q now is equal to 1 million, ano na, P1, is P1. 411,140.73 plus 506,631.12 pesos. So, Q now is equal to 917,771.85 pesos. Now, this is what we are going to substitute here so cc now is equal to 5 million pesos plus the q of 917 771.85 plus 500,000 all over 1 plus point 0.12 raised to 5 minus 1 so that is 5 so cc is now equal to six million five hundred seventy three thousand six hundred forty five point seventy three pesos so that is for capitalized cost of example number three This is number three.